SBK Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Trios Championship is about to kick off. I'm Luke Elvey. It's great to have your company, and I'm alongside Rich Beam in the booth. Rich, let's get stuck into it. What's this opening hole like? Yeah, just basic, isn't it? Just 385 yards. Uh, opportunities abound to start off your round with a birdie. In saying that, you get a little careless, you make a bogey, and you're really kicking yourself on such an easy opening hole. I know I can't wait. Let's get back down to the coverage. That one's heading down Broadway. Time for the second shot into the first. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And that's for birdie. Well hold. Absolutely. You love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Currently one under for the day. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. This shot is about 140 yards out. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. We need this one to bounce right. A wonderful shot and a chance for Booty here at the second. Good looking putt. Oh. And this putt coming up for his par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Currently one under for the tournament. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Par threes are always fun. See if he can knock it close. <laughs> Going with a three wood here. Out a boy, good shot. This putt coming up is for birdie. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Par putt coming up here. And that putt will drop. Well done. Currently one under for the round. is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. This one's going right at the pin here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. You want to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard? Well, let's hold this putt. It's tracking. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. 
Oh, we'll take that and a spot in the top 10 to boot. The leader now has a one stroke advantage. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Opting for the nine iron. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. I will take that also into the top five now. He currently shares fourth position. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Well, this should find the short grass. Sitting at minus three, currently tied for fourth place. It's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and get rewarded for it. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. That wasn't your best effort, was it? And this putt to move into a tie for third place. Nice one. Fourth booty of the day. And that will take him to four under. He's in a share of third place. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. That's heading for the fairway. Well, Rich, this is a stop that not many people would know about, the Atlantic Beach Country Club, just down the way from TPC Sawgrass, where we get the Players' Championship. But it's a Butte course in its own right, isn't it? It's a short course, which I like because it's not a bomber's paradise as you see normally week in and week out on the PGA Tour. So this one, a little bit different venue. You got to be very strategic off the tee, narrow landing areas the further down you hit it. But if you decide to take the driver and challenge it and you pull it off, you get rewarded with pretty easy second shots. It'll be fun and interesting to see how the players attack the golf course throughout the week. close was that to going down that's a high quality recovery shot you better believe it is great stuff to watch and racking up their fifth birdie of the day and with that he'll move to five under par he's currently sitting in third place just a couple to play here on the opening nine here's the tee shot at the eighth this player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. Looks to be going with the six iron. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hold a long one. Still counts. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. This one has eyes for the hole. 
Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will take him to six under. And stepping up the standings after that effort. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Looks like this one's hitting safely for the fairway. Well, this is some sort of play. Five birdies on the bounce. Going with the 9-iron, nine -nine, I think. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Oh, that's well played. And a chance for birdie here at the ninth. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. Tied at the top, Rich, with the back nine here left today. Yeah, I like it. Sneaky good. There's no doubt about it. Let's see if they can keep the momentum up on the final nine. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot here at the 10th. The interesting choice of the driver here. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Right on four feet. Should make this one. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And that will take him to eight under. And that makes him tied for first. This hole here is a par four. Absolutely tattooed that one. Second shot here on the 11th. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. Great looking shot, this. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Oh, this is some ball striking. Hitting greens in regulation, it's a thing of beauty. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Well, this one's right at the pin. Outstanding approach shot. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Starts off on a good line. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. Oh, and they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? That should find the fairway.
Second shot here on their 13th hole. That might be one club too many. A wonderful shot. A chance for Booty here on the 13th. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Yeah, nice mid-range Birdie putt, that one. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And after a Birdie at the last, he'll take the honour on the hole. That's a good looking shot there. Second shot here on the 14th hole. Oh, almost went in. But in for birdie. Geez, making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Leading by four strokes after that one. The honour is yours. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. That should find the surface. Well, that's beautifully judged. To a nine foot chance here. It's on a great line, and there it is. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Tough tee shot here, bunkers left, water right. Find the fairway or else. Well, I like the way this person's playing. Birdie's all over that scorecard. Absolutely. It's been a good streak late in the round. Going with the six iron here. That's a great shot here at 16. It sets up a chance for Birdie. A good stroke. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Oh, that is crushed. Second shot here on the 17th hole. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Yeah, you'll take that. Good birdie. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Well, this is when the adrenaline really starts to kick in. Leading the tournament with the final hole to play. Good luck. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 18th hole.
Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Well, all that hard work, it's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, that would be an outstanding to make the eagle. And down it goes, victory for this player. Backing up the Brinks truck once again this week. Filling it up. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the videotape. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.